All right, got my Alford uh, V1 unit, and I was going to upgrade, and then I went to the website and saw that they have an upgrade kit right here. Pretty simple. New motherboard, uh, new control, new remote control, and the important thing about this guy is it has a gyroscope in it to keep it going straight. I put a swivel front end on it, and on the old V1 version, it would wander and you'd have to course correct with the remote control. So I'm hoping this uh, will fix things and also enable me to put this new gadget on. Uh, CB Sidekick. It's going to be a, a follow along. We'll see how good that works. So excited to try it out. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, looks pretty straightforward. Uh, looks like an M3 hex key for these guys. Okay, eight Allen head screws removed. Let's see how this panel comes off. Oh, one left, one left. Um, geez, four years ago. I still get to play once to twice a week and I'm still get about 27 holes before this battery goes dead. Let's see what it looks like in here. Oh, there's a little, little bit of tape. Okay. Looks like got main battery disconnect. Two connectors, a couple connectors here. Let's see what the instructions say. Disconnect the yellow connector, then the four connectors go to the motors. Okay, then four connectors go to the motors. Okay, let's try this. So the main battery cable right here, done. And then these connectors, let's see, blue. Looks like they're the same connector. I'm gonna get a, I'll just mark them up here real quick. Doesn't really say left or right. I guess it doesn't matter. Right side, left side. Oh, I guess you can see which way it's going from the connector. Uh, the cable going through the device back here. Okay. This one, two, and then this is the right. So it's paired with a power connectors paired with a, a small connector here. There's one set for the right side. There we go. V1 controller board done. Here is the new guy. V2, look at that. Okay. I guess uh, I don't see any tape, so I'm gonna keep this stuff on from the original setup. Just to get a little, a little bit of a seal and cushion. Okay, so disconnect. Reconnect left motors. Okay, so the left side says it goes into... Instructions are pretty good. Look at that. The instructions are fairly clear, nice picture. So this is the left side. So left goes V2 up, left goes on the top here. And here, there's one. And let's go here. And then I guess the right goes on the other one, probably. Yep. Probably sort of a. Let's see how else it would go. Connectors. 
Very nice connectors. Usually I hate these connectors. You can never like those automotive Molex connectors you get. They never want to come apart, but these, these came apart and plugged together pretty pretty easily. Okay, and then a uh, battery connector, right? Reconnect the right motor, then the yellow connector. Here's the yellow connector. This better not take off on me. Okay. Oof. I heard a little connection there. Okay, let's put this back on. Okay. Put the eight. Eight. Eight hex bolts back hey, in. It's buttoned up. It even came with the new remote. It's a nice remote compared to the old one. Um, we're going to pair it up here and then uh, throw it on the old click gear and see how it works. Let's see, see how the pairing goes here. It says turn off. It's off. What does this need batteries? I wonder if there's already batteries in here. It says press and hold. Yeah, there's batteries in. Press and hold stop and 30 for three seconds. Stop and 30. For three seconds until the upper left LED flashes, turn the V2 on, upper left turn solid, indicate it's paired. I wonder if it's gonna jump off this cart here. Okay. For three seconds. Okay, it's blinking, it's blinking, turn this on, and it turned off. Okay, it says it's paired. All right, let's uh, turn this off. I still got three bars, so that's after a round. Had a round, there's still three bars on here. So my battery's still good after four or five years of playing once or twice a week. So website said, don't need to replace the battery if you're still getting good charge, so everything is the way it was. I'm going to throw it on the uh, the old click gear with uh, the three... Oh, they have a different, different setup here. Nice. This is a little better than before. The other one had a magnet that didn't work very well. Um, had a magnet right here. I'll have to switch it out. All right, let's get this thing on there and see how it works. Okay, here it is on the cart. Put it on the rubber band. I guess with the rubber uh, on the handle, it holds on pretty good. And no worries. A nice secure mount. And that looks like it holds it pretty well. All right, nice. Looks like it's a sealed battery. USB charge, looks like. Well, we'll see how, how long the batteries last in this. We'll see. I liked having the AAA batteries in the other one because I just carry spares. So I just need to make sure this one's always topped off. All right, and as you can see, this is my click gear. I do have the, the steering wheel versus dragging the front wheel around. Um, have it on here. And here's a real good test. I have a little incline up ahead. And normally, uh, as soon as the, the old one, without the gyro would come over an incline it would just because of the front wheels it would just fall and go down the hill so here's a test uh, going straight you can always already tell the the motor's a lot more torquey in this one I'm gonna have to tighten up those mounts but look tracked pretty well turn it around come up at an angle oh let's see come up at an angle here and yeah look at that holds the oh there's the torque <laughs> Uh, the motor is torquey and it just twisted in the mount, so I'm gonna have to tighten those mounts up. Okay, now this motor is a lot more torquey than uh, the old V1. And it does, the gyro is really helping it. Look at that track up the hill sideways. Reverse. And it, it'll drag the, it'll drag the uh, front end around. Let's see. 
going up at an angle, it maintains the course. Before it wouldn't do that. So it's, and then here's another thing with the gyro. It never would back up when I put those swivel wheels on it. You couldn't back this thing up because it would just spin in a circle. But now it maintains, of course it drags the wheels, but the gyro is keeping it on, on a point there. So a lot more torquey. I don't think the V1 would spin the wheels around like that. This, this thing's, it must uh, be putting a little more power into those motors or a more efficient controller. Same hub motors, just a different controller. So looks like this is uh, a success. Next thing I'm gonna do is uh, hook up the follow me device and see how that goes. Let's watch for that one.